In this video, I spar four Egyptian professional and one amateur fighter. This first round is against Isaac, the head coach and owner of SGF Academy. He is a six-time kickboxing world champion in the lightweight and welterweight division and also is a BJJ brown belt. He's also 47 years old, but still fast as hell and feels like a brick wall whenever we tied up. A nice Superman cross here. A nice knee to the body off the exit here. And again with that knee off the exit. I landed a jab here and a nice right hand counter by Eisen. A fast right high kick here. His toes graze my cheeks. And I get him back with a body cross that baits him to drop his left hand opening his left side face for my rear high kick. A nice foot sweep attempt by Isaac off bounces me against the ropes. Here I pressured forward, attempted a foot sweep and followed up with my usual cross to double step low kick. Despite wearing MMA gloves, Isaac shelled up against my cross and fired back with a nice cross of his own. It's a very kickboxing thing to do. The only two big name fighters that I can think of on the top of my head whose shells with MMA gloves are Peter Yan and Yoel Romero. But this just shows how tough Isa is. And a very unexpected axe kick to the face here. And he finishes the round by catching my low kick and taking me down. The next round here is with Omar. He is an amateur fighter with four knockouts under his belt. I also consider him a very good friend even though I've only known him for a few days at the time. Omar organized a seminar for me here at SGF Academy, picked me up at the airport and took me all around Egypt. His hospitality was truly special and because of him I had the best time ever in Egypt. So here Omar circled to my left, I cut him off with my left high kick but he catches it and shoots for a takedown in which I sprawled with a whizzer and frame on the neck and fired back with a cross to the left high kick. A good takedown defense here by Omar and a nice cross block here by Omar. A really cool style of blocking and very effective because he could aim his elbow at my fist causing a lot of damage to my knuckles. And here I threw my inside low kick, back stepped into southpaw and was going to shoot for a double leg but Omar timed a perfect kick. Thank God he pulled back or that could have knocked me out. This was what I was trying to do. Now, if you guys are interested in improving your head movement, check out my head movement program where you'll learn over 80 basic and advanced head movement techniques and patterns, follow over 30 live drills, and save your brain by becoming more evasive and take less damage to the head. For more information, check out the link in the description box below. Here I walked away and when he was least expecting it, I shot for my double leg. And a left hook into a flying knee here. Uh, I love playing around with flying knees, but make sure you are super controlled with them and barely make contact, if any at all. And I used the same trick on him. Walk away and surprise double. Thanks again for your hospitality, Omar. Round three is with Ali, a pro MMA fighter in the welterweight division. Because he is so tall and long, you'll see me go to the body followed by the head a lot. Like here, I went for a body cross, up jab to the body, luckily I ducked under his right hook and into my overhand right. A nice knee here off the exit by Ali. This time I went for a cross, liver hook into the overhand right. And this time a jab to the thigh, which was actually supposed to be to the body, followed by an overhand right. 
And a nice double leg by Ali. Takes me down, but I pop back up. Then he takes me down again and gets my back. Then here he just let me up because he was being nice. And I went for my double. And that's the end of the round. This fourth round here is with Omar Yusuf, a professional MMA fighter in the lightweight division. He's got deceivingly long arms and unorthodox striking. He shot for a takedown here in which I sprawled with the underhook and into a right hand. And then a nice cross hook off the break from here. I attempted a double leg here, but nice defense by Omar. I shoot for another double leg here, but Omar made the mistake of not overhooking my right arm and I was able to transition to take the back. He does a great job at defending and turns into my guard. As he stood up to ground and pound, I stepped my two feet onto his hips and rhino kicked to create some space and I stood back up. I did the look and walk away trick again and into my double end. Omar makes the same mistake of not overhooking my arm and I was able to take the back. And that's the end of the round. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, time! This last round is with Noor Shando, a multiple time national kickboxing champion in the featherweight and lightweight division. He doesn't do MMA, so we kept it to just striking. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen my vlog of my time in Egypt, definitely check it out. I'll link it in the description box below. Good one. Okay, Tom. Hey! 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 Hey!